Let's learn about Britty RPA Designer. Designer is the workspace to design an automation process. When the process designed in Designer is executed, Orchestrator assigns the process to the bot, and the bot auto-executes the tasks according to the designed procedure. Here, Orchestrator is an operation within the server and is not an area in which the normal users directly work. Now, shall we run Britty RPA Designer to look at the Designer screen composition? When you run Designer, a blank screen will open, like this. To see the composition of Designer screen, you need to create a new project. If you press the button in the upper left corner of the screen, the menus will appear. Here, select New Project from the New Menu. Then, the window where you can enter the name and description of the project will appear, like this. Click the Create button. Now you have a workspace to design your automation process. The designer screen is composed of the menu and toolbar, project, library, canvas, shared resource, variables, log, and properties. First, let's look at the top menu and toolbar. Menu buttons are used to create and save a new project and to open project files saved on the personal computer. Also, you can share the project with other users by importing and exporting, set the designer and server settings, and register the license. The toolbar under the Menu button is composed of various tools necessary to use Designer for recording and executing processes or tasks. Among them, the Record button is a feature to help design the automation process. It records the user's computer screen control and features to design business procedures. The Run button is used to execute the currently selected process or task. The following is the collection of Save buttons. From left to right, the Save button is used to save the active process or task, and the Save All button is used to save all currently open processes or tasks. The following is a collection of the buttons for controlling the selected node in the canvas. From left to right, you can see the Cancel, Cut, Copy, Paste, and Delete buttons. Next is a collection of the buttons for setting the screen view. And from left to right, you can see the Collapse, Show Overview, Disable, Reverse, Maximize, Init Layout, Create Block, and Small View buttons. The Find button at the far right of the toolbar is used to search for activity names, variable names, and descriptions in a process or task. The Login button is used to access the server. Let's look at the project area. Projects are the results created by Designer and are composed to look up processes, tasks, shared tasks, events, custom libraries, and resources in a hierarchical order. Next is the library area. The library area is a set of classifications of activities used when designing processes or tasks that are automation business process. You can design the automation process by moving the activities in the library to the canvas by using the drag and drop feature. The library area is composed of the flow control library, which is a set of activities that control the flow of processes. The app library, which is a set of activities that control the app screens. Web library, which is a set of activities that control the web screens. The Excel library, which is a set of activities that control the Excel documents. And the System library, which is a set of activities that control the Windows systems. You can click the More button to see additional libraries. The Orchestrator library is a set of activities that control the process execution. And a set of activities that recognize images and execute actions. Knox Portal library is a set of activities exclusively specialized for Samsung employees in relation to emails, schedule, and approval-related features of Knox Portal and sending and reading messages using Knox Messenger. 
The SAP Library is a set of activities that control the SAP GUIs. The Outlook Library is a set of activities that control the emails using MS Outlook. And at the bottom, you can see the Settings button that sets the library screen view. Depending on the settings, frequently used libraries can be displayed directly on the screen, and less frequently used ones can be displayed when the View More button is pressed. Also, the frequently used library activities can be set as favorites. And to bookmark as favorites, simply click the Star button in the right of each activity. You can also search for the desired feature by entering the activity name directly. For example, if you want to find activities related to the email in the business process you want to automate, search the keyword email and the activities related to the email will be searched like this. If you look closely, you will see one in the Orchestrator Library, three in the Web Library, and eight in the Outlook Library. The image in front of each activity allows you to see which area is being used and to assume the feature by the name of the activity. As shown below, Wait Email can be assumed to be an activity that performs features related to queuing email in Orchestrator, and Send Mail as a feature related to sending email on the web, and Receive Mail as an activity that performs features related to receiving email on the web. Let's continue to look at the Canvas area. Canvas is the area for creating flowcharts to design the business process to be automated. You can select the activity you want to use in the library area like this. Design the process by using the drag and drop feature without coding. And design and search the automation tasks in the following flowchart format. After selecting the activity on the canvas, press the F1 key to provide the help feature. Let's continue to look at the Shared Resource, Variables, Log. The Shared Resource tab on the left shows the list of the shared resources downloaded from the server. The Variable tab next to it is the area to define the variable to be utilized in the project. You can add the variable to set the name and set the initial value. Also, the Log tab is a screen that outputs logs when a process or task is executed you can check the current progress and error messages. Finally, let's look at the property area. Properties is an area where you can check the details of the activity and set properties when a specific activity is selected in the flowchart in the canvas. Because required properties are different for each activity, different properties are searched for each activity.